Hello everybody, Proto Foxy, your favorite Red Menace is here again with another Transformers toy review. This time I'm taking it back a little bit. Something that isn't as current. I can't tell you the year this came out offhand, but I know it was part of the uh, universe end of the uh, chug line. I don't think it was Generations, I think it was Universe. Uh, this is Deluxe Warpath. Now, um, I do have the missile that goes in here. This is actually a missile launch, spring-loaded missile launcher. I have it. I just have it packed away. I uh, brought this down because I wanted them on the shelf. And I figured, well, hell, we'll take a quick look at them. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Warpath Vehicle Mode. And it is a very cool-looking tank here. And I will point out, you've got... Zao 333 for anybody who knows the Warpath character in the show, the original G1 show and in the comic books. Yo, he would say ridiculous lines as he was uh, going on about doing his things like Zowie and Kapow and all that. So you have Zowie here on this side. We have K490W Kapow. Uh, but yeah, really, really kind of a nice little nod there. I, I love the Generations throw, uh, Generations Chug, all that stuff. They're little throwbacks to that, those kind of things. But yeah, really good looking tank. Not a, uh, you know, more of an indiscriminate kind of almost Cybertronian kind of thing here. Uh, each tank style, not an Earth tank or anything like that. But he's definitely uh, a fun little guy here. Nice little tank on the tank mode. The uh, turret does turn. Uh, as you can see, the, the, the cannon itself, you can aim up or down. So really, really nice tank. Um, but yeah, there there he is in uh, vehicle mode. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the robot mode. And here we have Warpath in his robot mode. And I am a fan, a fan, a fan, a big fan of this robot mode. Definitely a whole... A lot of throwbacks to his original G1 toy, which was a mini bot. Uh, you know, his tank tread feet, his uh, take turret cannon chest, uh, the way his head kind of flips up and he has a little thing in the back. Uh, definitely just a very, very uh, tank tread arms, obviously, too, or you know, forearms here in this case. Definitely a cool looking robot mode. Um, very fitting for Warpath, and I'm actually very happy that they didn't just, uh, release mini bots for him, which they did in, in that era. They did do some mini bots, but they also gave us this deluxe, and I think this is just a very, very well done deluxe. Take a quick look at this head sculpt here. Very, very Warpathy. Very good looking. The articulation is very, very nice. Um, you know, what you've come to expect from the chug line, and for anyone who, um, you know, is tuning in and checking these out and maybe just got into, you know, getting back into collecting Transformers or, uh, you know, just doesn't know what I'm saying when I'm going on about Chug. Chug stands for Classics, Hunt for the Decepticons, which also I believe they include uh, Reveal the Shield in 2010 in, in that, that part, the H part of Chug. Uh, universe and Generations, that was the uh, kind of fan coin blanket term for that era of releases for uh, updated G1 looking characters and toys. And I, I, I say G1, but also they included some other throwbacks, you know, some Unicron Trilogy guys. There was uh, uh, Hot Shot, I believe, in Universe. They had uh, R.I.D. Skybite. They did an updated version for him. They, they've been, they were peppering in different characters, Beast Wars and such. Um, but that's what I mean when I'm saying Chug, and this is the area, era that this toy came out in. And again, you look at him, very clean transformation considering, uh, how he transforms. The transformation is actually very interesting, the way it works and the way he folds up and all that stuff. A lot of fun to do. Not incredibly difficult, but it's, you know, not, actually, it's not difficult at all, I, I should say. Um, but, just, uh... Just very interesting the way it works. Now, unfortunately, oh no, no, it does. I, I, I haven't really messed with this guy in a while, so I forgot that his head is on a swivel. <laughs> so, we're discovering things together out there, everybody. But yeah, just a nice representation of Warpath. I think it's very fitting. I mean, if we were going to, 
you know, kind of go a little further for like my dream warpath because, you know, when you think of a big tank bot and especially warpath, when you remember the character from the generation one cartoon, I would have went Voyager and made him a bit thicker and chunkier, you know, kind of almost fitting for more of his war for Cybertron game appearance. And uh, even for the dark of the moon appearance, it would have been cool, but you know, we got him. And he's definitely really cool. Definitely a great tank former. Definitely a cool looking representation of Warpath. Um, if you can hunt him down, because obviously this isn't at mass retail anymore because it's an older toy. I want to say this guy came out early 2010s, if I remember right. I, I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments below. Um, but yeah, uh, so places you know online toy stores like big bad toy store toy whiz and all that kind of stuff uh ebay if, if this is something that interests you i would actually uh recommend getting them i like them a lot i liked them when i bought them that's why i bought them um but yeah overall great toy uh and i like i said pull them down for the shelf and i'm like well Let's take a look at them and uh, show them off to everybody else. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully y'all are staying safe out there. Hopefully I'm helping you get through these times with uh, me gabbing about Transformers uh, because it's something I like to collect and like to do. If you enjoyed it, uh, like the video, please. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, just really trying to start really putting in more time into this. Uh, all that good jazz. Uh, spread the word. Hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully y'all are staying safe. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you next time.